Now let's go to, well, the winter sports. Talking about the Team Nigeria, the girls, they're here. And of course, they're preparing for that historic moment where they will become the first African uh, women's team bobsled to be at the uh, Winter Olympic Games. For these girls, I mean, it's been a, a good story for them. They started the sports, not sure of where they were going to, but somehow, mm. you know, out of the fact that they were determined, they were ready to really go all out and get something out of the sport, they qualified for it. And the rest is history. You're having sponsors, everyone, the support is coming from Life to Red. Right, left, center, from yeah, all corners all of the world, from Nigeria straight to the United States, Germany, and right. everywhere. The sponsors are all uh, coming. But for the girls, I think one thing is sure: with the support they've gotten so far, they will definitely want to go ahead and see, well, a podium finish. Why? Well, I mean, um, I imagine you're getting ahead of ourselves now. Yeah, you're getting ahead <laughs> of yourself. I mean, uh, obviously they'll go to the uh, to the competition trying to really compete. Um, you know, uh, they're not going there to make up the numbers. Of course, uh, I love these girls. Uh, you know, they've got backgrounds uh, in athletics already, so they're already competitive. They have that competitive spirit in them. So uh, we'll see how they uh, perform uh, at the Winter Olympics. Uh, Cecilia, uh, it's a very, it's a feel-good story. I mm. mean, it's an awesome story mm. uh, to see where they started and where they have ended now. And starting with little to no support, uh, to now having... I remember um, when they were on spot tonight, the, right. last, the, the very first time they came to Nigeria, now that they were here, just... Just seeking Started for by, you know, okay. seeking uh, public funding. funding. Now, funding. And right now, everyone wants to identify the, with them. Over themselves, just it's identify the themselves. Yeah. I think the story here is, I mean, when you're down, you usually don't get what you want. But by the time you're up there, everyone comes around and everything. So yeah. if you're starting small and no one is looking at you, you just know that, well, once you get to that particular level, it all starts coming in. Let's listen to these girls that are already there for the Winter Olympic Games in Pyongyang. In they start starting on February. Rebecca, it's, it's an honor. It's so humbling and it's such an inspiration to know that we can be able to do just a small selfless act to help bring so many people into an inspiration. The reaction has been amazing. A lot of people have been, you know, talking and sharing the information, um, sharing the news as they have been supporting us since day one. We have a lot more support now, so I'm very happy. Yeah, when the supports are rolling in, you see the smiles, and they're really happy that the supports are really rolling in for them. Absolutely. We listen to Shema Digun, Gozi, Omeri as well, too. Uh, there's also Akoma and Yoga, uh, who um, will participate in the event as well. And let's mm -hmm. not forget, uh, some sort of Diago, yeah. uh, in the skeleton, skeleton as well. Too. So it is just amazing uh, for, for these ladies. I am looking forward to the Winter Olympics for the first time in my life. Ah, because Lord, you have who Nigeria. cares about who used to care about the Olympics, uh, the Winter Olympics? But we are now because of Nigeria will be participating. It's going to be a historic uh, moment for uh, Team Nigeria. That's the women's uh, bobsled team. And we from Channels Television wishing them all the best uh, in Pyeongchang as they compete for medals. Perhaps you never know they can come back with, uh, you know, yeah, we never know a couple yeah, of medals. Never know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, Every night, that's, so that's when it starts. Yeah, we can't wait for that one to, to start, definitely. Okay. okay, now let's talk about the Flamigos. Uh, this is going to be a very tough test for them. Before they got to the final round, you know, they had a goalless draw in Benin City after that one or draw in Disababa. Mm. And this girls right now, the last hurdle they will have to cross is facing Cameroon home and away. Mm. The first leg is a home and the second leg is going to be away. Now, right there in Benin City, they will have to try everything they can to score as much goals as they can because the Cameroonians, you know, they got the, their first oh, leg dear. when, I mean, they defeated Algeria 4 nil away from home. Right. So that tells you a whole lot. They can go away from home to score four. Right. But then this is Nigeria. I know the girls somehow, they just have a way yeah. of getting the upper hand at this particular level of competition. Yeah. I, get, I, I get where you're coming from. It's Nigeria and, uh, you know, there's this... Uh, uh, superiority uh, complex in quote that we have when we will play against uh, uh, other African sides. Uh, but you mentioned uh, the last uh, round of qualifiers uh, between Nigeria, um, where uh, it, was, it wasn't very convincing. Yeah, 1-1 uh, draw away and a goalless draw in Benin was enough to secure qualification into this last round of qualifiers. And uh, I, I would understand even that there's not too many fans out there that are like who are confident uh, going into this game against Cameroon because Cameroon, like you said, are a very, very uh, decent side. Uh, 
uh, uh, it doesn't help with playing the first leg at home as well too. And so uh, they just have to take advantage uh, of the of the home leg. Uh, uh, try and get a very favorable result before going to uh, Cameroon. We know our old style. Uh, it is yeah, over there. Uh, we remember we just played them. The Super Eagles played them in the qualifiers for the World Cup. We know how that went down. And so the first leg is going to be very crucial. Cecilia, uh, Balani Q, and the girls hopefully are prepared for this one. I'm talking about prepared. I mean like really, really ready to face this Cameroonian opposition uh, because they are a very good side. And um, I'm very interested to see how this one pans out. Nigeria at home, you expect them to get a win, mm -hmm. at least. A win. A I win mean, of any color. Not, not just win, I mean massive win. I because you don't know massive. where you're going to face when you get to the massive, massive win. Mm. Well, the coach has been talking, you know, about how prepared they are. Because they know for certain that the Cameroonian girls, they are very good. Now, here, was it, here is what he has to say. He says... We know for certain that it will be dangerous to take matters lightly with the Cameroonians. Apart from the rivalry between Nigeria and Cameroon on the football field, the Cameroonian girls sent strong signals with their performance against the Algerians. Now, that's the really strong signal he needs to work on. However, we've prepared very well for them. And victory is what we'll go all out for on Saturday. Now, all out victory will be a massive one on Saturday. You can win as much as three, four five goals and you know you'll be comfortable because right. when, when you get there whatever you face why, why are you smiling it's not possible right no i'm not saying it's not possible it, it but that's a very huge uh um task mm -hmm. huge uh, one uh, i'm not sure if the girls can climb it uh because i'm just looking at the last game that goal is one everyone left disappointed even yeah. all the guys all, 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 the, all the guys that came to mean, watch the, yeah nuts, so I, I don't know what what has changed now from then till now because we haven't really had the I opportunity think at that, to see at that time they didn't have that time to really stay together you okay. know the way they were quickly arrange them and start but now maybe they there's a little blend cohesion in the team right now they, hopefully hopefully yes yeah. maybe they would have worked on some of the issues they the had lapses, a lot of, not being able to score right. goals and all that you know misplaced passes and everything they would have worked on that, mm. and they should fare better on hopefully. Saturday. Hopefully, Saturday. hopefully. So go girls, uh, try and get all three points and as many goals as possible against Cameroon uh, on Saturday in Benin City at the Samuel uh, Ogbemudia Stadium. Let's move on with the show now. Let's talk about the Nigerian Professional Football League. And there was a March Day 6 uh, action that went down uh, yesterday, but we need to go on a break. First of all, when we come back, we'll be looking at Rangers beating Rivers United yesterday. 